Julian, some people may not know that you're a book publisher as well. I'm sitting here holding Tony Vargas's second edition of the Coral Reef Aquarium, yeah. published by Years Truly. Bear in mind, you know, Tony has his own unique style. As we um, all do as, as we, we all do, yeah, and so you can expect that. <laughs> <laughs> Great. It, it comes through. Um, what, what Tony wanted to achieve here was to inspire people to not only try reef keeping, but to imagine you know, scaling up different sizes. Um, it covers the, the whole build process on some of the most really spectacular tanks all over the world. Okay. Uh, and, and gives you a good input on the history of, you know, how the hobbyists planned it, all the roadblocks they were up against, what filtration they use, what uh, systems methodology, methodology of husbandry. It's all there. Reading it in each different hobbyist point of view. Yeah. You'll, you, you'll find something that will meet your level. Uh, I mean, there's things there that are way beyond what the average hobbyist might consider. Sure. And then there's more average size systems that you could, could consider. So uh, going into the detail of how they did it, I think, um, removes the roadblock of, oh my God, how am I going to get into yeah. this hobby? So um, you can see how everyone does stuff differently, yes. what works for you, what works for me. Correct. And their brainchild behind it. Plus he also has a section on corals and on fishes. Ah, uh, he so, is a fish guy. So uh, it, it's really an essential guide if you were planning on setting up a, a new saltwater. So even place. as an advanced reef keeper, done lots of bills, yes. still something to learn out There of. is still something to learn in it. But we're also not talking over the heads of a newbie. Not at all. Yeah, Tony has always been you know, straightforward, you know, normal guy, not, not you know, uh, academic talking in a way that you wouldn't understand. Sure. Yeah. So there's volume one, this is volume two, you can have yes. both have the complete edition. Well, the volume ones are hard to come by now. Oh. We, uh, per Tony's request, we only did one print run on that. Okay. Um, so if you're lucky, you can find one out there. But uh, the volume twos, we have plenty of them and they are available now. So I just got to yeah. say, Julian, you have a very good Tony Vargas impression. Oh, Mark, I tell you what, you got to come and see my aquarium. That, that's Tony right there. <laughs> it is. If you don't know Tony Vargas, you'll know him when you hear him because he sounds funny, like that. The funny thing is that, you know, uh, Charles Delvick and I uh, wrote uh, the Reef Aquarium series of books. Right. Charles, by far, does a better Tony Vargas wow. impression. So next time you see Charles, you'll have to have yeah, him okay. do it. I, I do an impression of Charles doing an impression ah, of Tony. I'm not, okay. You know, I'm not quite as good as he is. Well, you got some time yeah. to practice. Yeah, I do. it's true. I've spent a lot of time with Tony working on This book was a couple of years of work to get it, it. get it all together. And people were waiting. We had it available pre-publication. Finally, you know, and this is through the pandemic. It was a, a long run, but we finally got it done. Anything yeah. you haven't done in your career, Jim? Uh, I haven't gotten a PhD yet. I think I have to retire to do that. I, I, I left uh, the academic world after getting just a bachelor of science degree. And uh, yeah, I you know, got into industry and, and never looked back, and that's wonderful. But you know, there's a lot of academic subjects that interest me, and so it's a pleasure when I come to shows like this and meet students who are in college and they tell me about their projects at university. I helped sponsor, you know, uh, with MACNA and yep. NASNO. We had that, and Two Little Fishies was a sponsor to select and pay uh, to help students study. I personally am interested to study some things, and, and yeah, that's something I haven't completed, and I hope I will have a chance someday. But I think I have to retire first, because you... I mean, if you to, want to retire right now yeah, on camera, right Julian, now, we, we here you go. It. Here you go. That's it. Yeah. So uh, have I not? Have I? Is there anything I haven't done? Well, that that's one. Uh, more diving. <laughs> if I see you on the reef, I'm not worried about the barracudas because they'll go after you with the reflection off the that's head. That's right. Yeah. I'm safe. Yeah, but if you need a little extra illumination, yeah. you know, we'll get the sunlight and uh, right there. Boom! You get the right shot. There, right, right for the video. <laughs> hey, here he comes. Look, let's stay there. Right. <laughs> 